Sally, I've missed you so much. How have you been? You look beautiful. You look wonderful as always. I need to ask you about your age and your birthday. And I can't show you the gifts yet, but let's just talk. It looks like you have something to say. Okay, your age and your birthday. Well, when's your birthday? My birthday is the 25th of June. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, now I just need to know about your age. Would you mind if I asked you something? No, Belly, please. I need to ask you this question. I'm curious. down when somebody makes you angry. Ah, uh, I should have asked to remember the note. is perfect. admirable. You're right, though. Come on, Belly, please. Please. Let me ask. I get the sense something's on your mind. Thank you. And it was your... How old are you? I'm turning 24 soon. But at the moment, I'm 23. Wonderful. Well done. You now know everything about Belly. Bye, sunny girl August, so I guess we'll still hang about with her for now. Because we're still missing two things with her for some unexplained reason. J Jelly Iggy! Ow! Why'd you hit me? I didn't say anything about Jelly Iggy. Sorry, Yoshiki, I missed. Ow! Hey! Don't hit the jelly, I bruise. Oh my goodness. Jelly Iggy's really becoming a professional with all the censoring. I know, but still... It was an accident, I swear. I'm sorry, everybody. You nearly saw something you shouldn't have seen. Anyway, wait for another day. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Me and Belly, please, please, please. All right, all right, all right. Now stop scaring me. Just sit down. I, like I can't remember the last time I've eaten. Are you serious? I, I can't go with Belly. Sorry, boy. Nope. On to the next one. But, 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 but you said. I know what I said. I lied. I hope to see you soon. We have to find out everything about the girls, and you know we do. But, but, Belly! <laughs> you can hang out with her next time. For now, we still gotta find the other one. Hey, imagine running into you here. Right, you just need to ask Lola her weight. Let's see if we can get the answer out of her. I just had a really good question in my head. Never mind. Shit. I don't think we're ever gonna get any Wait, answers out of anyone. It. What's the first thing you think about when you wake up in the morning? I remember, I remember, how to get the most out of your day. Right. Well done, Sigal. people understand the power of starting the day in the right frame of mind. This is kind of getting repetitive. So, oh, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna quiz you. Seriously, is she how ever gonna let you ask anything? For? You long, two... Long, no, she was the four-year degree. Was she? I can't remember. Yeah, four year degree, well done. Well, let's just keep talking. Mind if I ask you a question? Never That's mind then, I'm just never gonna get a question out of you. <laughs> You're such a clown. I give up, I can never get a, funny, to ask man. you a question, can I? Let's just go. <laughs> Evening, afternoon. Okay, so let's look for anybody at the beach. Who's at the beach? Uh, apparently nobody's at the beach today. Fine. Okay, let's just go see, um, Ayako. Have a good evening. Bye-bye. You're still prowling around? Hello, Ayako. Sorry to bother you. We just came here to ask a couple of questions of you, which is hobby, fave hangout, and of course, hi. And then we'll be on our way. I've been wondering something. What's your kill count? Never mind. Seriously, huh? does nobody Probably want to talk to, to me about anything at all? Job. They just decide, no, let's not answer questions. Let's just be a jelly, not being a nicey person, and just constantly ask jelly iggy questions instead of letting jelly iggy talk. Maybe because the questions you're trying to ask them are kind of personal. They're not that personal. I'm pretty sure they are quite personal. I mean, asking a girl her weight is one thing jelly iggy it's it's not that bad uh yeah it is girls don't normally like to talk about their weight there are some things about girls jelly iggy that you can't just ask them oh fine <laughs> you win. Okay, 
fine. Let's talk with her. What I want to ask her again? You want to ask her a personal question? I already did ask about her weight, Yoshiki. Oh, my bad then. Some of you want to ask about their weight. Hi, Hobby and Five hang out. Allow me to try your uh, jelly again. See if I can answer her. Hang you can't keep me out of the casino. Oh, why thank you for telling me. What? How on the earth did Naomi get that out of her? Fine. So We've just gotta get two more things out of her. Never mind. Fine. Vacation, I don't want to know. No, I'm with you. Who needs the stress of You can keep all your knowledge to yourself, I don't care. <laughs> Bedroom, campus, nutmeg. Right, we're going for honeycomb. Honey cam? Uh, sorry, cougar cam. We're going for cougar cam. Oh, really? Bye bye, Ayako. Don't tell me anything about yourself. We're going for cougar cam then. Cougar cam never lets me down. <sighs> Gonna be a tired kind of day. You have no idea how true that is, cougar cam. <laughs> Okay, so Cougar Cub here, of course, is the daughter of Jessie, for those who don't know. And unlike her mother, she likes flirtation, whereas her mother likes sexuality. Meaning, let's max up flirtation. And, um... Why not? Let's max flirtation up to max, because why not? Okay, so we're gonna go on a date with her, get her panties, and move on with our lives. I thought you'd never ask. And hopefully... Daughter and mother will not ever talk to each other, and they become aware that I've actually deflowered both of them. I'm I... really glad you asked me out this morning. What on the earth are you wearing? Well, Amy, that's kind of a really strange style of clothing. Uh, I have to agree there. Me too. What on the earth is she wearing? I've never seen anything like that. Why is it so low down? Is that a normal style? What? I have no idea. I've never seen that type of clothing before. Me neither, Naomi. So you should try wearing a sick or... Sorry. I don't know. Naomi's not wearing that not while we're doing this playthrough. I I don't know what to make of it. I've never seen any outfit like that before. If anybody's ever seen outfits like that before, please do let us know. We are curious. We've never seen them before. <gasps> are they a normal style? I mean, isn't she cold? <laughs> I'm assuming she would be cold. I mean, I'd be freezing in that outfit. Well, I want to know this way exactly you get one. Yeah. Sick go. Oh. I wasn't suggesting anything, Naomi, I swear. Why don't I believe you, dear? Probably because I'm smiling, Naomi. Yes, that most likely is the reason. Why are you smiling? Nothing, Naomi, I was not thinking of anything mischievous. Sick oh. Remember, I'm trying to keep this let's play as child friendly for everybody as possible. Please control yourselves. Alright, alright. I most certainly am going to control myself. I cannot guarantee about Sick oh. oh, Naomi, come on, you can trust me with anything. Oh, can we really? Did we just get something bad there? I believe so. We may have made a little mistake there. Don't worry, Naomi. Everybody makes mistakes, as I said before. And you can easily fix it. I believe in you. Thanks. Thank you so much. For me? Alright. Come on, Naomi. You can do this. Green, remember. Green. Green? Oh, dear. Alright. I'll do my best. Oh, yeah. Well done, Naomi. Awesome. Yeah. Well done. And we got an achievement called Make the Move. Whatever that is. You I'm not sure. Get down on studying, I can tell you what that is. That's when you get like loads of points in one go. You managed to get a lot of points there, Naomi. Well done. Not even I managed to do that. Well, I'm super proud of you. Well done! Oh! Why, thank you. You're both hugging me. And you got Tiffany's coconut palm outfit? 
That's what that's called, coconut palm. It looks awfully drafty. You wear very strange clothing. Also, that was not her panty date. Apparently not. Oh, doesn't matter. At least we got another one of her outfits, I suppose. Still curious as to what the hell she was wearing, though. When Earth she even got it from in the first place. Might as well just ask Tiffany some questions and then move on. You are the sweetest girl like Don't worry though, I will be back to defy with you later, my sweet little cougar cub. Don't you worry, I've already dealt with the cougar and I will be with you next. Right, let's talk to you. And then of course she does the annoying thing, which is ask me the question instead of me asking her. Oh, come on, Jelly, she sometimes does get curious. I'm not so sure about that. You know, I've kind of been wondering. And here we go again. How close are you, are you with your family? Um. No way. You too? I'm going to lie. Perfectly fine if I never saw You're not mom. lying though, Jelly Iggy. You don't like your family. Well, no, I don't like J Iggy. Iggy 1.0 or Iggy 2.0. I don't like any of the dogs in the funhouse. They're horrible, mean. Huh. I don't like my family that much. I try to get along with them, but the only one I really get along with is my sister. As for me, it's me and my mother. We get along, though, unfortunately, recently my mother kind of went through a stage where she was trying to give me medication all the time. Oh, no, I me. It's okay. With me, I've got a little brother and I absolutely adore him. And I cook as well for my father, too. What about you, Jelly Key 2.0? Me? Well, my family are the jellies. There's quite a lot of us. And I do love them. Even if I argue with Jelly Iggy constantly. Yep, no kidding. Our personalities clash more than anything. Sometimes I wonder why I put up with you. I'm so bad, I know. I want to find out how much you know about me. I don't know. What's my last name? Your last name? May. Wow, you got it. Most girls would have forgotten by it's now. not because I spoke with your mother. What's taken, Bacon? Finally, um, main hobby. Oh, I could swear Oops. I've already told you that. I already asked you that, didn't I? No worries, Jelly. You just move on to the next girl. Okay, so we've already done you. Let's go see. Oh, they're both at the beach. Well then, let's go. We've already done you. Done you. Done you. Haven't done you, haven't done you. Let's I'll go see Nikki again. And then we'll go see Kiana, because why not? She hasn't talked to Kiana in a while, have we? We've talked to Nikki quite a lot. What's going on? Well, we need to ask Nikki her weight. Her weight, her last name, and education. And you want to know what? We'll take her on a date as well. Um, do you mind if I ask you a question? And then, of course, you ruins it by asking Why me a question. Why did you initially come up and talk to me? What? No, you're bullshitting me. I don't know. I decided to go up to you because my imaginary love fairy person told me to go talk to you. What exactly do you want me to tell you? That, that wasn't even an option. That is very true, though. The love fairy did tell you to do it, so that should have been an option. Wow. Let's go on a date with you. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, let's do it. And then we'll go see Kiana. Oh, you want to know what? 